Am I live? Maybe? I appear to be. Okay. Uh, oh, I really should have set all of this stuff up earlier because I'm kind of scrambling to get it to work now. Um, okay, great. So, um, yes. This seems... Hi! Hi, people! Uh, how's it going? Um, what do I need to do? Okay, so... Game audio? You hear blips? I hope so. I'm gonna press a button. There we go. Alright. Excellent. Sounds good. Looks like things are working. Uh, I'll just let the cinematic play for a moment. lighting and stuff. Um, okay. Ah! <laughs> Streaming's hard! I forgot how hard it was! <laughs> okay. Uh, I shouldn't talk too much over this, I guess. This isn't a particularly great cinematic. Just something they threw together for this remake, I guess. Crystal necklace, okay. <laughs> Alright, people coming in, cool. <coughs> Is the audio balance okay? Can you hear me? Can you hear the game? Uh, I'm going to have an annoying little problem here where the um, I have both the audio um, from the game, a direct feed of that coming in on one uh, channel, and then my microphone is going to be picking up the speakers and stuff. They won't be perfectly in sync, and they're probably going to drift over time, and there's just nothing I can really do about that at the moment. I'll try to figure it out for later. I think there's a second thing that happens here if I wait for a moment. Um... Yeah, there's, there's like, more to this. Back on the NES, you just booted it up, created your party, and were dumped into the world. This is all new in the Origins edition. Oh no, a great darkness. Where is that location? I don't think I know that spot. It's been a long time since I played this game. Yeah, none of this world map is looking familiar to me. <laughs> Never played any Final Fantasy games before. Uh, it's kind of like Chrono Trigger. There are some pretty close similarities. Um, how would I contrast those two? Yeah, like Chrono Trigger without time travel. That's about right. Sure. Um, yeah, that's that's a decent description. There are a lot... All of the games are kind of different from each other, so, like, what you see here is not going to be what the series becomes. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. That's gonna be me. So this is probably stuff you'd see, like, in the instruction manual in the original version. All right, so this was probably the uh, the crystal amulet that you saw in the dude in the opening cinematic. I guess they do special things. That's what they look like, I guess. <clears throat> okay, it might be time to play. All right, here we go. Push any button. I push that one. New game. Uh, new game. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, normal mode sounds good. Alright, so uh, I need to pick character classes and names. Um, whoa. Okay, so, um, wait, what? Uh, okay. Assign a class. So, I gave this some thought. I don't know exactly what party composition I'm going to use. I'm going to go with something fairly standard. Probably a decent bet is usually warrior. Uh, probably monk, white mage, black mage. Sounds decent. I remember when I played as the thief, I didn't really like it. Uh, when I played as the red mage, I wasn't super into it. Because, like, red mages can cast both black and white spells, but they don't get the really high-level ones. Of course, that does mean that I have only two, well, three damage dealers, but you... you'll only be able to go so far. That's okay. Uh, Alright, so, names. How, how do these work? Can you, like, auto-generate names for me? No. Can I... <laughs> uh, I don't really want to, like, make up names for these people. That name I'll care. Right, I'm gonna have to. Alright, um... So I'm just gonna pick like some random names that won't be very good. Your name is Jeff. How's that? <laughs> Not to insult people named Jeff. Your name is fine. It's just like, I don't know. Your name is John. Sure. Generic American names. I think the white mage is supposed to be female, so your name is, um... I don't know. Ellen. Just thinking, like, the first name that comes to my mind. Uh, your name... Let's do another J name. Your name is Jack. How's that? Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Getting name suggestions. <laughs> like, mine are way too generic. You guys' suggestions are way too out there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, people. How's it going? Uh, right, okay. So, there's my party. Not gonna think too hard about that. Names honestly don't matter at all. You just have to pick something, anything at all. I used to name my characters like one, two, three, and four. <laughs> okay, so I get dumped in the world here. Uh, I have those stats. Uh, formation, you're gonna wanna be in the back row. There is no back row in this game, is there? No, I can just swap them around. Okay, back row is not a thing yet. In later games, I can put people in front row to do more damage, back row to take less damage. Um, yeah, I should have done another J name. Oh well. Castle Cornelia. Uh, that's solid. All right, what, what what button does what? That button does that. Our king is searching for the light warriors. That text goes awfully slow. Wait, can you be? Yeah, that's us. Hi, how's it going? Uh, config. Uh, custom. Game settings used in original... Wait, what? What? What is this? Ah, I see, right. Okay, so a really annoying thing about the first game is in combat... Well, let, let me talk about this when I get to combat. I want this on. Ooh, there's a dash button. Cool. That's nice. Wait, I can't do that normally? Weird. You know, this is fine. This, those settings are totally okay. Uh, right. So, um, cursor, default is fine, text speed, please go faster. Let's go fastest. Windows fine, controller's fine, sound output, yes, vibration, yes. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so there's a dash button. Yeah, I can go faster. Cool. Okay. People to talk to. I want my sis back. Okay, who is that? I think I know who that is, actually. I'm about to go rescue her. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so this is... Right, surprisingly good graphics. So this is um, this is Final Fantasy Origins. This was the PlayStation 1 remake of the original game. There was a PSP... I, I kind of went over this in my, uh, my video. Um, <clears throat> this is not what the game originally looked like. King is searching for the Light Warriors. Wait, can you be... Okay, you say the same thing as the other guards. So not everybody has something unique to say. The queen has shut herself away in her room out of grief. Is that the queen I talked to over there? No, that's you. Jane, another J name. <laughs> queen of Cornelia, save my daughter. Okay. So like super generic fantasy plot starts up at first, but then things go elsewhere. Hi. Rescue the princess. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Hey, who are you? Garland was once an honorable knight. 
What could have driven him to such hatred? What am I hearing here? There's a weird little talk noise. It's very quiet. <laughs> Alright, Garland. Uh, about to run into him. Uh, right. <laughs> See, this is why I wanted to take some time and set this up uh, earlier for... Um, I wanted to pick a set of names, but I didn't have time because like setting up the stream took so long. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. The names are what they are. It's fine. Uh, I received a report that Garland has fled to the Temple of Chaos north of Cornelia. All right, that's my destination. There's nothing here. I should buy some equipment before I go there. I think everybody comes with, like, nothing. Yeah, you got nothing. Okay, no equipment available yet. Our king is searching for the Light Warriors. Yes, that's us. Please go see his majesty at once. Okay. Uh, yes. Travelers, is it true that you are the Crystal Bearers? Apparently. Yep, got them in our hands. <laughs> when darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. So I've heard. But your majesty, we have no proof that these four are the true light warriors. We have the crystals in our hands. Isn't that proof enough? Not coincidence, four warriors bearing crystals have appeared now. Brave ones, I need your help. Please rescue my daughter, Sarah. All right. Garland, once a knight in his majesty's service, has abducted Princess Sarah. We have learned that he is in the Temple of Chaos north of Cornelia. Attempted to rescue his powers far surpassed ours. Okay. I'm sure all this brand new level 1 party will surpass his power just fine. <laughs> uh, across the Northern Strait, the bridge that once spanned it is lost long ago. If you bring my daughter back safely, I'll build a new bridge. I'm counting on you. Alright, so this is the transaction we're doing. To earn a bridge built by the kingdom, we have to rescue Sarah the Princess. Can I get over to that stuff? Did I go this way? I thought I went this way. You walk slow. Um, what's all these things that I'm seeing over in the upper right? There's a dude there. I'm not sure I can access that spot. Oh, I see. I go around. Okay. Uh, probably... Probably not 100% of everything. Uh, yeah, so... I don't expect to fully 100% all these games, but I'll make a decent effort to see most of the stuff, probably. We'll see how it goes. Our ancestors sealed weapons away here and left the key in the Elven Prince's keeping. He was to guard it until the Light Warriors came. Ah, uh, okay. That's right, this is coming back to me. Go see the Elven Prince, get the key, and you can get into this locked door. Mystic Key. You say the same thing. <laughs> Just to make sure if you hadn't talked to that other guy, you'll get the information there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the top of those pillars is solid. All right, sorry, I'm kind of really taking my time here. Let's go. So I need to go to town and buy equipment. I have nothing. Uh, yeah, originally on Nintendo, there was this big weird rivalry between Nintendo and Sony. Like, it was on Nintendo platforms for a while. Like, the first six games were that. Then Final Fantasy VII was on the PlayStation, and like, it didn't come back to a Nintendo console for the longest time. Uh, now it's just everywhere. Every platform has Final Fantasy now. <laughs> Cornelia, the city where the dreams are woven. Wait, what? This is Cornelia, the city where dreams are woven. Don't know what you mean by that, but okay. I don't need to rest, but here's an inn. Oh, hey, buildings have interiors. Or at least this one does. Ah, uh, this is tutorial men. No thanks. Uh, I'm an expert on monsters too. I don't need to hear you. All right, I don't need to sleep. Do I have money? Oh, Mystic Quest. Yeah, that's a different thing. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll complete the Civic Works project as our reward for uh, doing this favor for them. <laughs> uh, but we are kind of trapped here without... Um, okay, so I have 400 gil. Gil is the common currency in this series. That's one of the few commonalities between games. Okay, so flirtatious person there. Long time has passed since I left the town of Pravoka in the east. Okay, I'll be going there eventually. I can push people out of the way and it's kind of satisfying. Uh, I have nothing. I'm not going to spend my money on this yet. 
Um, potion, antidote, sleeping bag. Alright, so I'll keep that in mind. Uh, yes. Boy, it's actually kind of hard to read chat and do this at the same time. Is my... No, it's fine. Never mind. Ah! Ah! <laughs> That's the wrong way. Uh... Yes. Okay, right. So, equipment. I need at the very least, like, a weapon for my warrior. And maybe some armor and stuff. Weapons. Uh, so that's for you. Is that better than bare fist? Like, you normally fight with a bare fist. It says it's better. Alright, let me buy you a rapier. These are extremely cheap. I'll just buy a weapon for everybody. Hammer for the white mage, staff for the black mage, or knife. Attack six, attack five. The staff does more damage than the knife. How about that? Uh, aren't monks supposed to fight with their fists? Let me not buy him anything. Okay, so uh, those are weapons. Those cost like nothing. Potions are six times more expensive than a weapon. Bless the crystals. Okay. Is there like a whole religion built around these crystals or something? All right, chain mail, you're expensive, a little bit. Leather armor, and then cloth for, is this? I feel like not all my inputs are going through here. Whoa, I don't need 11. Uh, yeah, this is this is on the PlayStation. Uh, it's on lots of others too, though. Uh, equipment. I want a rapier for you. And are there shields? I didn't see any for sale. There are gloves, okay. Right, so you get nothing. Leather armor. Hammer. And shirt. And staff and shirt. Okay. How much money do I have left? Two fifth, uh, 225. Okay, so these are magic shops. Oh, this is important. Right, you have to buy your spells. Cure one. Dia? What's that mean? Okay. Shield blink. Oh, neat. All right, cure one's pretty good. For oh, wait, what? I can buy these for everybody? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> All right. Right. Um. Hi, here a person. Please rescue the princess. Yep, I'm on it. Will you say different things when I do that, or are you just gonna keep saying the same thing? I wonder. <laughs> Uh, fire, sleep, focus, bolt. So no ice spell at level 1, huh? 10 to 40, 10 to 40. Alright, fire 1 sounds good. Wait, what? A spell called focus lowers an enemy's evasion. That's weird. Alright, let's just go for fire. So that you can actually do something other than whapping people with your staff. And I'm almost out of money. So this shop has a shield icon in it, but it didn't actually sell any shields, so I think a shield is just something I can't have at the moment. His Majesty believes Light Warriors will save the princess, as the Prophet Lucan told him. Uh, Prophet Lucan left Cornelia, saying he was off to find the Crescent Moon. Okay. I'm going to go back through this footage and take some notes. I was thinking, a thing I meant to mention in the, the intro video for this... Uh, I'll probably want to do some sort of, like, recap video once I finish each game. Move. Um, and, you know, cut together, like, what happened in the story, what my analysis of it was. Oh, right. I come here to resurrect people who died. That's how it is. I forgot that was a thing. I don't have any money left over for potions, do I? Nope. Can't buy anything. All right, let's go. <laughs> Focus tricks the enemy into meditating so you can hit them more easily. Alright, I'm going to save my game. That was a surprising amount of work. How do I save? Memo, I guess. Save game to memo file. Yes. Wait, no. No, I want a real save. Uh, can I... Is it like select? Start? Uh, which button saves? Memo? No. Uh, can't I save here? No, that's config. Uh-oh. Uh I need to know how to save the game! It's kind of important! That's not it. Oh dear. What's going on here? Why can't I... No. I want to save to a real thing. Is it in config? Uh-oh! Uh... Help! How do I save? 
Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. Uh. Okay, I don't know how to save. Is it at an inn? Let's try that. <clears throat> Maybe that's how I do it. Plug in the keyboard and press Control S. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, no, I don't want to stay the night. I want to save my game. I don't know how. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, directly from Infinity. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, nice to have you here. Uh, yeah. Super long stream. Gonna have to get the whole game done in one sitting. <laughs> There's got to be a way here. Okay. So memo. What? What is that? Formation. It's not that. Status. No. Equipment, no. Items, no. Magic, no. Well, maybe it'll become clear later. All right, let's just go. There's the broken bridge, by the way. Okay, maybe I do have to visit the... Okay, I'll stay at the inn after I do some stuff here. All right, attack. Goblin guards. Right, so as I was saying, that thing in the config with um, auto-targeting... Uh, it used to be that in the original version of this game, if there were like multiple enemies in the battle, you enter all your commands at once. So you tell all four people to attack the first enemy. First enemy dies after the first hit. Everybody else is going to attack the air where the enemy was and nothing good will happen. So fortunately, this fixes that problem. It'll auto retarget if the enemy dies. Let me demonstrate. Everybody attack the first one. Oh, you're not doing much damage with your fists. Okay, you do need a weapon. All right, now I know. It doesn't cost much. Use inns and you can save there. Okay, cool. Sleeping bag, tent, and cottages. Oh, weird. Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> it's nice to have like some, some co-drivers here helping me out with the game. Right. Uh, okay, so I gotta spend money to save. That's inconvenient, but okay. That hammer's not too bad. Doing more damage than my monk. Alright, I got some money. It's fine. So, let me buy a weapon for my monk. And save the game. I don't want my black mage to die. He's taken a bit of damage. By John a machine gun. <laughs> That'd be good. Let's try, uh, if I'm gonna be sleeping... Oh, right, eight god dang mana bars. Right, one, one second. Um, so here, you cast fire. So this game had a super weird mana system where... Um, right, fire spell, cool. Uh, where every level of spell has its own, like, allocated... No, you missed. Um, has its own uh, number of times you can cast it before going and sleeping at an inn. Somebody please kill that goblin. There we go. Goblin? Aren't those supposed to be called imps? They originally were. I guess they changed the name. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, please don't die, Black Mage. So here's where we get into the tedious, kinda high encounter rate in these games. I could be battling slightly more strategically. You are missing way too often. Yeah, even like the most basic enemy is giving me some trouble. You're about to die. I have no potions. Unless I've like gotten item drops from battles. I wasn't really paying much attention. Uh, spell slots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have anything? I have nothing. Do I have any key items? I have nothing. Okay. So limp back to town. Please don't fight me. Yay, I made it. Okay. So, first thing, I'm gonna buy my monk a weapon. Because I know I have enough for that and to stay at the inn. He's doing just, like, no damage. Yep. Yeah, so there's a lot of weird stuff that goes on in this game that's, that's dropped for later series. So this is actually one major difference between this version of this game and the PSP version, which I was tempted to play. The PSP version switches to the more modern uh, mana system, so everybody just has an MP bar, all spells dip out of that. And it's much more friendly. Um, 
I have actually beaten the PSP version, so one of the reasons I wanted to play this was because I wanted to try it with the extra challenge of the weird magic system. Alright, sweet dreams. Could well be. Yeah, I can save my game! Let's do it! Oh, oh, uh, which one is the accept button? I hope it's that one. Okay, cool. Got an old save here from a long time ago when I played this. Let's just save in slot two. Okay, data saved! Yay! Everybody's level one. I've been playing for 18 minutes. The um, which button is uh, okay and which one is cancel changes from game to game. So in times like that, I, I have to think for a moment to figure out which one I'm using at the moment. Like it's, it's my X button on the PlayStation, the bottom one, but usually it's the button on the right, or at least it was in the SNES days. Okay, so slightly better equipped. Nobody's leveled up yet. I'm going to go straight to the Chaos Temple if I can, up in the north. Show me some damage, John. Okay, so those have no more than 9 health. There we go, you're an effective fighter now. How long is it until people level up? <laughs> uh, yep. Yep, that is pretty funny. Um, status. Next level, 17, so you're a little more than halfway there. Okay, yeah, this is a slow, grindy game. There are going to be stretches of this game where I'm just wandering around and fighting things so I can level up to be strong enough for the next thing. That's just part of what the game is. How much experience am I getting for this? Four. Very little. Yep. Wait, Japan does it the other way around? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Marshland, I wonder if there are different enemies here. Uh, let's not stay around to find out. Chaos Temple. And this is the only other location I can access until the bridge is fixed. There's some nice music here. Probably tougher encounters. I should, um, I should have bought some items. Oh yeah, this is worrying. All right, strongest fighters go on the unique enemy because he's probably stronger than the rest. You beat on that one. You cast, like, fire? I'm probably not going to fight Garland this visit to the Chaos Temple. I need to, like, level up a time or two before that happens. Okay, so you did not die in one hit. Keep beating on that. Um... Hold on, you have a cure spell. I could have used that to heal my black mage. <laughs> I forgot that was even a thing. Alright, I'm using all my fire spells here. So I won't have any left. That's fine. Ah, yikes. Okay, I think I'm alright. Here, just in case I'm not. You do... Ah! Do this. I can do that outside combat, right? Whoa! 47 experience! Well, this is the place to be. Jeff gained a level. HP plus 26. Strength up. Agility up. You're gonna tell me all of these things every single time people level up, huh? Okay, I'm gonna be skipping through most of this. Intelligence up. Does that get you more magic slots? I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, so magic. Ellen. Cure one. Yes, you got a level two magic slot and another level one one. There we go. Okay, so I know how strong the cure spell is. It did 32. It's a random number, but it's somewhere in that range. I think there's treasure in here. If I can survive to get it. Everybody leveled up, so I should be better off now. If I'd bought the DS spell, I could have used it here. Why is it called that? Nice. 12 experience. Less than the wolves. It was a big party of wolves. A whole pack. Leather cap! Oh, cool. I don't have a helmet yet. Who gets that? Uh, defense 15, defense 4. Probably you. Or maybe, hang on. I want... You, you seem to be the most vulnerable at the moment. 
It gives me one defense. You get it. <laughs> Gagas Worm. Alright. Trying to decide whether I want to run out of here or try and stick around. Um, if I'm sticking around, I definitely need to do that. I need to buy some potions at the very least. I've earned a lot of money. Uh, potions and probably a sleeping bag for just outside this, um, this place. Yikes. <laughs> there, finally. Are you thinking of Dark Queen of Kryn? I think that was the name of the game. Yeah, I played that. <laughs> yep, we're at the end of Earthbound. Uh, I should not go forward here. This is, like, super risky. This is way too risky. I'm turning back. I've already kind of semi-committed to that, but I'm, I'm turning back. Oh, boy. I should run. Six wolves is too many. Run away! Don't die! My running is not working! Uh-oh. Am I gonna die here? Okay! Um, so running away did not work at all. Should I fight? Or should I try fleeing again? I don't know what the chance of success is for that. Yes, I'm gonna fight! Uh, you're out of magic, so you can't do anything. I have no items. Yeah, I've made a mistake here. You have no magic. Alright, just do what you can. Everybody attack Jeff. He has the most defense. Yes, keep doing that. Nobody's died yet, but it's, it's gonna happen. Alright, let me um, be strategic here. So split up my damage so that, like, if the monk almost kills a wolf and then the warrior wastes his attack on it, you know, it won't be such a waste. I'm really surprised nobody has died yet. This is going okay, surprisingly. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, good, good. You're dead. Okay, so first person died. I really need to run away. Alright, so she missed out on some experience here. That leather cap was so not worth it. Okay, I made it out with no more encounters there. Good. Items. I need items. Yep, many dogs in that temple. Uh, I can handle this. Probably. In the original, those were Imp Cap. For Imp Captain, I believe. Yeah, you're doing one damage. You're fine. Even with three health, I'm, I'm confident here. Alright, so White Mage will be just slightly behind level-wise. It moved her to the last slot in the party. That's weird. I think the, um... I think the position in the party actually matters. The first, uh, character gets targeted more often, I believe. Enemy strikes first. You might manage to kill John. I don't really want to fight you, but I guess I'm gonna... Yeah, okay, he died. Um, this is gonna take some time. I'm gonna run away. There we go, I ran away. <laughs> yep, it's gonna be annoying. It's really hard to keep keep characters even in these games. I was... I should have... Oh, there are wolves out here. I'm gonna fight these. I think... Last time I tried to run away from a wolf. You know, they're dogs, they're really fast on their feet. Can't really get away from them too easy. Easier to kill. 
Alright, yep. So you two are gonna be level three, everybody else is level two. That's unfortunate, but okay, it's fine. I'll be at level three by the time I get back to the temple, probably. <laughs> oh boy, these encounters. <clears throat> This is part of the experience. <laughs> yeah, so I think the uh, the implication, since I go to a church and they're all like, I don't know, I think the characters are implied to actually be dead here, not just like knocked out or something, and I'm going to resurrect them. In other games, it's another way. Preemptive strike, so I think in this game, since I do input my commands first, that means we just get a free turn. Yeah, and they don't get to go. Later games in the series will have the active time battle uh, system, so we won't be just waiting and inputting uh, things one by one. Depends, though. Yeah, I'm sure the stats figure into it. I have no idea how they do exactly, though. Complicated uh, stuff. Yeah, usually, I think this is the only game, maybe, where you have to go specifically to a place to resurrect people. Normally, they just come back at the inn. Fortigil, oh, that's fine, that's nothing. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> you cast life. Thanks. All right, can you cast life on her, too? Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Yep. Yep. Okay, great. So, people are revived. I need to reorder. Um, uh, formation. Formation. Yeah, that's probably fine. White mage can stay alive the longest. Yeah, so first person... Get, so I guess, like, the, the, um, the concept of front row, back row is just that the first person gets attacked the most and the last person the least in this game, I think. It's hard to tell for sure. Um... So I definitely need to stay at the inn, but I want to do that last because that's where I save my game. Potions. Sleeping bag. Let's buy one of those. And... I don't think I'm fighting any poisony enemies at the moment, so I don't need... Um, antidote. Okay. Sleep at inn. So I think probably what's going to happen here is I'll pay another visit to the Chaos Temple. And... Um, loot the rest of it, then either use my sleeping bag outside if I feel confident, or if I don't, go back to town and stay in the inn again. Um, and then fight Garland. What the? Oh, it just defaults to slot two. Okay. And scrolls down, so I can't see slot one. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> yep, got to get another J name in there. KO status, yes, that's right, yep. Yeah, is this the only one where people die? Well, I mean, people die in the, in the later ones, but it's usually a story event rather than, like, something that just happens in the normal course of the game. Okay, Chaos Temple. I have a sleeping bag, so I can save outside if I want to. Can you each handle one of these... I don't think the NES version had a run button at all. I think that was just something they added in the remake. That's what I remember. You just had one walking speed. But are you saying it was supposed to be a feature, but it just didn't work? <laughs> ah, Jimbo, yes, perfect. <laughs> you fit right into my party. Wanna join? Fifth party member? Most of these games don't let you have five party members. I think there are two of them that do. Mostly it's four or three. Oh, that kind of running. Sorry, I was thinking of the dash button. <laughs> Status bites. Identifier for enemy attacks third. Depends on one's digit is slot four's HP. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I gotcha. Okay, that's not too surprising. Back in those days, you know, software wasn't probably tested all that well. 
Uh, probabilities, it's hard to tell what's going on, you know. All right, so let's loot this chamber over here. I almost made it in. A ghoul. Wait a second. That happened exactly in front of the door. I wonder if this was a scripted encounter. You, you're not an enemy I've faced before. You might be a tougher one. Let's see if I fight you again on the way out. Oh, wait, no, you're not that bad. Never mind. Not a big deal. Oh, nice. Okay. The door is locked with the Mystic Key. Excuse me. Okay, so come back to the Chaos Temple with the Mystic Key. All right, fair enough. So castle and temple. Skeleton. I should have bought Dio while I was there. I didn't have money. I'm, I'm low on money. Uh, do I want to fight Garland? Yes, I want to try. I'm going to save my magic. Oh, yeah, and these are, these are not a big deal. The NES game came with a whole chart of um, enemy uh, stats and stuff. So I could have just looked up how good an enemy the skeleton is. I don't know if those stats match exactly here. Um, 6502, yeah, that's the one. Yep. Right. Uh... I've fought you before. You're not too bad, right? Oops. That's fine. Ooh, one damage. Alright, you should be almost dead, so mages can maybe take care of it. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just giving you more chances to hit me. By spreading out my damage. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Dang it! Alright. Focus fire. There we go. Okay, so you're level three. Wait. Okay, so Jeff, no, John must have uh, leveled up already. Yeah, okay, so everybody's level three now, cool. Ah, locked with the Mystic Key, okay. So Eastern Wing locked with the Mystic Key. Let's hope the Northwest uh, Chamber is not. Starting to think about healing Ellen. That might be a good idea. Yeah, if I'm going to be walking around with these dangerous encounters going on, I should do that. Things are getting easier, though. I'm not not feeling in as much danger. Okay, cool. <laughs> yep. Uh... Yeah, the game didn't look quite like this on the, on the 6502, but um, it had a lot of stuff in it. Old processors, you had to really know what you were doing with them, but they could do a lot of stuff. Uh, if I'm lucky, you might all go down this round. That's good. That's good. Almost. Nope. Alright. Can I just hold the button? Yes, I can. Alright. You're open. Two chests! Oh boy, a potion. And a tent. Oh, neat. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so here's a plan. Let's go outside, use that tent, and then fight Garland. I don't have enough Cure 1 spells to uh, heal the whole party, but the tent should do that. And I think that's a good use. Alright, he's in there. Oh. Let me also check if I'm like super close to level 4 and it'd be worth uh, getting there before I, before I sleep. Uh, 
All right, so what happened? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, did that bottom wolf take a hit? Doesn't matter, it's dead now. Good. All right. Exit. Use tent. Save game. Heal up. Restores a lot of HP to party. Also saves game. Used outdoors. Do it. <laughs> uh, yes, save game. All right, let's have a boss fight. Also, actually, hang on, let me check something. Um, yeah, no, level four is a long way off. All right, let's have a boss fight. Hold on, uh, how are people's vitals? Did that tend to heal everybody fully? Yes, no, yes, no. So it didn't restore, um, oops, uh, didn't restore magic slots. You still only have two and one. That's fine. I can make do with that. All right, Garland, let's go. Whoa, there are bats in here. At last, in exchange for the princess's life, all of Cornelia and its riches will be mine. Blasted pawns of the king, no one can stop me now. Very well, I shall take on all of you. <laughs> In the NES version, he said, I, Garland, shall knock you all down. And that was a, uh, a line people like to quote a lot. All right, hit him hard. Hey, Anthony, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Okay, that hurts. Oh, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> I was overprepared. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> I thought that was a more serious encounter. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, I won. Thank you for saving my life. I am Sarah, Princess of Cornelia. Please come to my castle with the castle with me. My father will be most grateful for your valor. Okay. Everybody nods at once. That's going to be a running theme. All right, I'm in. I beat the game. Forever in your debt. Lucan's prophecy has proven true. You must be the light warriors of whom he spoke. So I ask you to do what only the light warriors can. Rekindle the light of the crystals. Only then will the monsters infesting the world be banished and peace finally restored. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Monsters all over the world causing trouble. Crystals need to come back and get rid of them and restore peace. Okay. All right, Civic's work, Civic Works project is happening, but that's all he can do for me. <laughs> all right, bridge is built. Cool. All right, great. This loot has been passed down to the princesses of Cornelia for generations. Garland took it when he abducted me. Had you not come, he would surely have put it to some terrible use. Your loot? Okay, and you're trusting it to me. All right. What is that for? I have no memory of this item. Hmm, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she wants to say something to me. All right, cool. Uh, Night Warriors, forever be grateful for saving the princess. All right, so you do change your dialogue. Is there anybody over here now? Nope, nobody watches in that watchtower. All right, you're just going to say the same thing. <laughs> uh, okay, so people know who I am now. Here are the Light Warriors, the ones in the Legend of the Crystals. Yeah, apparently. The loot can destroy the door to the source of all evil. Okay, thank you. Now I know. That's probably a key item. It sure is. Most melodious musical instrument. Oh man, it's the most melodious. <laughs> or maybe it's just a most melodious musical instrument. <laughs> oh man. 
Oh, the brave ones. I cannot possibly thank you enough for saving Sarah's life. She's still retired to her bedroom, though. Not interested in going out, even though her daughter's back. I understand guard. Sis came back. Thank you so much. Okay, so you're like a little girl. All right. Uh. Oh no, things to read. Hang on. How do I... Why can't I scroll my chat? There we go. <laughs> okay, there we go. Cool. <laughs> uh, right. Anything to see up here? Um, doors locked with Mystic Key. I don't care about those. Okay, so bridge is fixed. I can go places. Whoa. Bridge is not fixed. Bridge is being fixed. Oh, there's a whole cutscene here. Okay, man. We will rebuild the bridge. Something. Um, I think I have my text speed set too fast. I did not get a chance to read that. Wave to the camera and wooden planks magically appear. It is completed. Okay, great. Stronger than ever. <laughs> Let's all celebrate by doing a dance. <laughs> uh. All right. Um, do I want to do anything in town? Yes. Um, I used a tent. You're probably not going to sell anything new or anything. Um, does anybody say anything new? Dreams are woven. Probably not. Probably not worth talking to people again. Let's not bother. Okay, I want more potions. I didn't use any, but I expect to. Just in case somebody gets poisoned, I'll buy, like, two of these. And I can afford one more sleeping bag. Let's do it. Cool. Oh, no, I should have bought magic. Ah. Oh, well, I'll come back for it later. Uh, I should have also stayed at the inn. Hmm... Yeah, people's health is low. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. That sleeping bag I just bought, gonna use it right here. Wait. <laughs> so everybody sleeps in the one sleeping bag, apparently. Alright. Just so I don't have to do that stuff again. Good. Okay. What am I doing now? Like, what is our quest at the moment? What's our motivation for going across this bridge? So we want to restore the light to the crystals. Don't really know how to do that. I mean, I do, but my party doesn't. Do they? <laughs> Let's celebrate this bridge some more. It's a really big deal of a bridge. <laughs> is there like a credit sequence here or something? Not credits, but like text scroll. And so the journey began. As warriors of light, this is really slow. <laughs> Text scroll speed does not affect this screen. Four crystals I carried remained a mystery to them. Where'd they get them? They just sort of appeared in their hands one day? It kind of sounds like the party doesn't have any more idea of what they're doing than anybody else does. <laughs> Do I press a button? Pressing a button's not doing anything. I guess the music has to finish. Okay, I uh, might talk to her then. 
So interestingly, that cutscene was actually in the NES version, in some form. Crossing the bridge has always been a big deal. Alright, I'm gonna go back here. <laughs> I have some business in town that I've just been told about. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Okay. Man, encounter rate. Slightly too high. Alright, cool. Thanks for stopping by. I don't know how long I'll be streaming today. Maybe a while. I was saying I'd probably do like two to four hours of this each time I do it. Not gonna promise it'll be that long, but... Um, <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm only doing this once a week and I want to get these games done, you know, sometime this year, then it's gonna have to be kinda lengthy. Oh. Oh yeah, you do have more to say. Pravoka is a port town. I'm sure the pirates use ships for their deeds. Did you go see Matoya? I hear she's gone blind and is suffering from it. She lives in a cave far north of this town beyond the bridge. Okay, thank you, that's very helpful. Alright, so good to know about that character. She tells me where to go. So north of the bridge, and then go to Provoka and fight some pirates for a ship. <laughs> yep. So since I just crossed over into new territory, monsters have probably gotten more dangerous. Nope. Never mind. So Matoya's cave should be just up here. I think. I think she tells me more about Lucan's prophecy or something. <laughs> oh man. Cancel button, so I think up until I input the last person's command, I can go back and rethink what I want the other earlier people to do. I guess that makes sense, since you tell them what to do all at once. Oh, okay, so these are here. Um, let's focus fire a bit. Good question, I actually have no idea. Um, this game doesn't really tell me what its numbers do. Just, you know, higher numbers are better. <laughs> More armor means you'll take less damage in some way. I'm sure if you Google it or something, you could probably find the exact damage algorithm. But I don't think it tells you about that. You have to, like, disassemble the game and see what the code does or something to figure out, figure, figure out how all that works. Nobody can hit. Now hang on, I want to try something. So you're doing 29 damage with uh, nunchucks right now. If I take them off and let you fight with your fist... Uh, remove. Attack 6. Attack 16. At some point, the monk gets better at barehanded combat than um, weapon combat. Let's see if this is that point. Or if it's still too early. Oh. This is a tougher party. Hmm.
It's almost comparable. You hit twice instead of just once. Hmm. I didn't kill a single thing. Uh, let's focus on the one that'll be easiest to kill. And maybe heal. I'm in trouble here. Yeah, I should have healed you instead. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think chat is preserved if you rewatch the, um... Actually, I don't know for sure about that. Hopefully. That didn't cure very much. Hmm. Alright, I think you're good enough without a weapon. I'm just gonna leave you empty-handed for now. Um, okay, so let's, um... Let's take this a little more seriously. I don't have any heal and spells left. I have potions, though. I should use one. Can I use it? Uh, yes, okay. Fire one doesn't do that much damage. Two times level one unarmed, okay. So it just scales with his level. Oh man. Alright, so you've been fired. Oh, and I'm out of magic. Wait, how am I out of magic? Oh, it's been a while since I slept in an inn. That's what's happening. Okay. Hmm. That sleeping bag didn't restore my magic. That could become a problem. I'd really prefer not to have to retreat all the way to Cornelia, but I think I might have to. Maybe I should have run from this encounter. Maybe Matoya will have a bed she'll share with me or something. I don't think she does. I still have potions. Just gonna have to do it with potions. Okay. Alright, level ups are happening. Good. Good. So he'll be more effective. <laughs> uh, just in case there's like healing in there, I can take those two steps and not encounter anybody. I don't think there's any healing in here. There's a magic broom though that'll tell me something. Uh, start and circle. <laughs> <laughs> is what that's telling me. Uh, a thing happens if I do that. That clue was given slightly differently in the NES version. Oh. Things happen as soon as I walk in. Oh right, she's blind. That's what's happening. The crystal eye. <coughs> Does that help you see? <coughs> I can't see a thing without the crystal eye. Okay, so... I can bring you something to help you out, maybe. Okay, so I have a quest. Alright, somebody stole her crystal eye. You're all gonna say the same thing. Is there stuff in the pots? Sometimes there is. Maybe this is not one of those games where that happens. Oh hey, there are chests though. Potion? Potion? Antidote, nice. Can I use your bed? Mm, no. <laughs> oh well. Alright, start and circle. Not here. I think I do it on the... I think I have to be on a, on a boat to do this. It's weird. Yeah, I have to be on a boat. Um, I'll show you when I get there. <coughs> uh, what am I going to do here? I guess just potions for everybody. Oh, those don't do much. I guess I'm gonna use a sleeping bag. All right, once I get onto a boat, uh, remind me to do the start circle thing if I forget. That should happen today, it's not too far away. Just have to go to Provoca and do some stuff. 
How much did that heal? Some. Enough. Oops. Alright, so with that healing and that save, I think I'm gonna just go straight to Provoka. I'm not gonna go back to Cornelia. Although, mm, yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. It'll be okay. Okay. Wolves are too quick. They're hard to hit. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, yeah, a thing that definitely happened um, as I played more, as, as I talked more during doing Let's Plays and things, my voice definitely changed a lot. Just with practice, things, things are different. And I'll sound like a completely different person if you go back and watch my earliest stuff. And it continues to happen. Even if I go back, like, one year from today, um, I'll still sound different, at least to, to me, to my ears than I did back then. I think I could encounter some unique enemies in the desert if I wanted to, but yeah, I have a place to be. It looks like there's only room in the UI for three digits of health. I don't know if that uh, expands more, or maybe like 999 is the maximum. Alright, wolves are not too bad anymore. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, cool. I appreciate that. I try to do what I can. Um, let's see. Somewhere, if I go back and look at, like, my box for the NES version of this game, I probably would actually have a, uh, a full map of the world, so I could see where I was going. I think I remember it well enough to be okay. So I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I know where Provoka is. <laughs> of course it does. Yeah, YouTube recommendations. It's my most popular video, so that's why you would be seeing that. It's the only one that I've ever monetized. It hasn't earned enough to actually get me a payout from it yet, but... Ooh, a lizard. Okay. Ooh, lizard might be tough. Yeah, a little bit, but it's only one. Out of curiosity, hey, I can equip. Uh, yeah, here we go. Let me try this. Because your bare fist is not doing too well against the lizard, specifically. Yeah, that's doing better. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay, so everybody should be level 4 now. How are my magic slots looking? 4, 2, 0. Okay. There's Provoka, I think. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, cool. Oh, jeez. Okay, fine. Uh, it's a lot of enemies. Only the warg wolves are really threatening. So let's focus them first. In later games, you usually don't see enemy formations with this many uh, monsters in them. That's an oddity of this particular game. Uh, okay, healer, use a potion. Whoa, not on him. Oh, well, fine. On him is fine, I guess. But I wanted you to use it on yourself. You know what? He needs it too. That's fine. <laughs> it barely counteracted that hit he just took. <laughs> Everybody attack uh, this thing. Except you use the potion on the person you needed to use it on. Ooh, 
There we go. So sometimes there's a thing where uh, monsters in the back take uh, less damage than the ones in the very front. Let me take down this one goblin just in case this is one of those games where that's true. I'm not sure if it is. I suspect it's not. But I, I just don't know. Yeah, this is um, <laughs> this is not an easy game. It's It gets kind of serious. Like, you can spend your time grinding and try to take the stress out of it a little bit just by spending investing more time into making your party stronger, but... If you just sort of go forward and do what the story says to do, it's going to be, um, non-trivial. Alright, so John really needs a potion. Good. Oh yeah, good thing I did that. Boy, just barely in time. He would have been dead otherwise. <laughs> Stop missing! All right, let me do this. Um, you two beat on the guy in the back. Maybe you can take him out and just reduce the number of monsters. Here we go. Hey, Ed, how's it going? Well, it was worth a lot of money and experience. Good. All right, let me in here before anybody else attacks. Good. So right, this is like a seedy pirate town. Arg, they're here again. <laughs> Alright, um, I want the inn immediately. Where would I find that? Uh, I want the inn immediate. Uh, I'm gonna, I need to know how much it costs. Um, I would like to go shopping before I go to the inn. You're the church, I guess? Yeah, okay, so resurrect there. Uh, yeah, exactly. Magic shops. Oh, I want to know what these have. Probably different stuff than Cornelia. I'm gonna have to, yeah, have to come back there. Null Bolt? Oh, Null Bolt. Okay. Dude, those are expensive. Okay, I don't think I'll be buying any of those. So, level 2 white magic looks like that. Where's the ice spell? I've seen fire and lightning, but no- oh wait, right, that's, that's black magic. It's probably here. Ice one. Okay. Fog. So it blinds them. Ooh, I like that. I like that too. Uh, I don't think that reduces the number of turns though. They'll just like attack less times and miss more often. So in this particular game, slow is probably not great. In some later games, slow is like the best spell in the entire game. Uh, pretty much crucial to, to cast it every time in combat. But I don't think this is one of those. Ah, uh, yeah, that's rough. Gotta, gotta get that under control. It's, it's hard to do, I know. Yeah. Um, oh man, everything costs so much. I can't afford new weaponry. Sure would be nice. I could buy that, I guess. I think the red mage can use this item, but I don't have a red mage. Okay, so, um... I would like the steel spell. Hi, you have a mohawk. Pirates came and sacked Provoka. Wish they'd go back out to the Allian Sea. Okay, there's the inn. Before I go there, uh, I don't want to talk to you. I know who you are. You're going to fight me. Item shop, armor shop. Another armor, chainmail, steel plate. Boy, that's expensive. That's not. Let's get a shield. And uh, everybody could use some gloves. I can afford this. Though to be fair, I haven't checked the price of the inn yet. I hope it's not more than 250. All right, but this should be a good investment, I hope. Oops. Um, let me take this, take this, yeah, take this back off. I guess I can switch it mid-combat, so it doesn't matter that much. But those are supposed to fight empty-handed, in theory. Uh, let me just see what's in the item shop. Potion, antidote, sleeping bag, tent! Okay, so you sell tents. 
So if nothing else, I can buy a tent for 250 and sleep in it. But I think the inn will cost less. Why are these people so sloppy that they, like, <laughs> they lose their tent every time they sleep in it? Can't you just buy one tent and keep using the same one? 50 gil, good. Okay. <coughs> Yeah, one defense isn't so great, but it's something. I'm sure if you really wanted to get into... I like how it can't... the save screen can't show Ellen's entire name. It's decided that three dots with that width is easier to print than an N, which would be much, much shorter. <laughs> That's silly. <coughs> Oh man, double defense. Yeah, there you go. That's the way to think about it. <laughs> All right. Hey, pirates. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? I'm looking at you. Say, I don't think you know who you're talking to. Fellers, teach these guys how to respect the great pirate Bike. We'll take care of them. Okay. Bike's Bikineers. Oh boy, it's so many of them. Uh, how much health do you have? Let's just, let's go all in here and see what happens. You go down with one hit. Okay, good to know. This will be the way, a waste of a fire spell then. Oh man, even from a white mage. Yeah, let's not use magic on this. These poor pirates have no idea who they're dealing with. But the only way I can, oh hey, ooh, look, the shield got a use. <laughs> yep, that's about right. A tent is like a key. You can only use it once. Alright, I beat up some pirates who were way outmatched. I mean, to be fair, they were roughing up the town, causing a scene. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, sirs. Won't do no bad from now on, I swear. Here, take my ship! <laughs> so he beat up the pirates and he gives you his... <laughs> Wait a second! Are you holding the ship in your hand? Is that the gesture you're making right now? <laughs> or are you just like celebrating, yeah, we got a ship? I mean, there wasn't a ship in the port before I came in here. <laughs> no bad deeds anymore, really. Just look into my eyes. Okay. So I beat up pirates and earned myself a ship. Cool. Teaching them a lesson. Rogues no longer threaten us. Great. They gave me a lot of money, didn't they? Yeah, I have money. Uh, I don't think you specifically told me about CrossCode, but I am aware of it. It's on my list. I will be doing it when I get a chance. Uh. <laughs> Pirates have 24 HP. Okay, cool. <laughs> right. Okay, so, um, what do I want to buy? Magic. There's a land of elves far across the sea where its prince has fallen under a curse. Thanks for teaching them a lesson. All right, so everybody in town immediately knows that the pirates have been taught a lesson and won't be uh, troubling me anymore. The um, steel plate is too expensive and there's nothing else I want here. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, it's a toy ship. It's like, um, it's like made of, well, okay, this wouldn't be very seaworthy. I was gonna say it's like a sponge, like one of those things you, you put in the water and it expands. <clears throat> I don't think you would want to want a ship that's made of sponges, though. Wouldn't float very well. Okay, I wanted... <clears throat> uh, that's cool. I don't think it's what I'm going to buy, though. I wanted steel. Inflatable ship. There you go. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, steel. Yeah, that sounds nice. A buff spell. Why is the buff spell black magic? Shouldn't that be white magic? Hmm. Whatever. G 
going to want to come back for Ice 1 also. That's a level 2 spell. Yeah, so if I run out of level 1 spells, then I can go uh, use that. All right, but I want to save some money. Uh, I don't think I need to save the game. However, I'm going to go back to... Okay, so I have a ship now. All right, so start and circle. Uh, start and circle. Oh, it doesn't work. Circle and start? Oh, okay, so hold circle, press start, and you see a map! Oh, okay. That's not what that did in the NES version. <laughs> so in the NES version of this game, pressing uh, B and select it was actually... Oh, hang on, okay, let's try that. So X, select. All right, I don't think that's in this anymore. So it took you to like a sliding tile puzzle screen and solving it earned you like 200 gil or something. It was weird. <clears throat> Current position, shit, uh... Oh, okay, so do that to point at it. Cool, okay. Okay, so these are all the places I've been to. Temple of Chaos is yellow. I guess that means it's like not a friendly place. Okay, so that desert in the northeast there. That must be the location that I saw in the uh, in the intro that I was wondering about. <laughs> yep. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah, the bodies are lying in the street, but you know they're still uh, they're still alive enough to say, "Oh, I'm sorry," or whatever they said when I talked to them. Uh, you win. Was it? Okay. Anyway, cool. Got me a ship. Let's go talk to the dancer. I did her quests. Um, which way to Cornelia? I mean, I could just follow the shore. So Hagen, right? These things. They're um. Yeah, so water monsters board my ship and fight me, so I'm not safe in the water. Annoyingly. Still gotta fight stuff. B select was the map? Oh, okay. I thought it was. Alright, I remembered wrong. Oops. When you're on the ship, hold the A button, press the B button 55 times to get to the hidden puzzle game. Okay, I did not remember it that way. <laughs> That's silly. Ouch, these things are beating me up. I'm gonna sleep at an inn soon, so let's use magic. Ooh, steal! Hey, right, you, do more damage. You, heal people. Ooh, fancy! That was probably a waste, this late in the combat. That's something to be uh, cast at the very beginning of like a long boss fight or something. But I'm glad I have it now. Buff spells are always worth investing in. Alright, so hold, hold X, press circle a bunch of times. I'll do it right next to the microphone so you can hear me. There we go. I did it. Play 15 puzzle. Wait, it times me? Oh boy, it times me. Um, okay. Oh boy. Do I really want to do this? I mean, I'll show it off, I guess. So it doesn't care about my number of moves, just about my time. Boy, I forgot how to do these. Okay, right, so I can just like circle it around. Wait, why is... Oh, okay, so it turns red when it's in its correct position. Got it. Um, okay, let's do this. One, two... Uh. Yeah, some programmer was just like, hey, this would be a cool feature if I put it in one night or something. Um, Oh wait, three and four are in the wrong order there. Oh boy. <laughs> so I'm not great at this as it turns out. That's fine. Um, here, you need to you need to swap around. You need to swap around somehow. Uh, here, you can you can do it like this. There we go. No, I did it wrong. Ah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I don't remember how to play this thing. Um, how do I get the four in the corner? Do I want to do the corners first? I don't know. How do you play this? Uh, let's get... There we go, I did it. I figured it out. Alright, this won't take too long. Seven is way down there. Okay. This is a real exciting let's play. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're gonna need to rotate in there a different way. Like this. There we go. I'm getting the strategy now. Nine. Nine goes there. Ten goes there. Eleven, twelve... Okay, now 13 just needs to swap with those. Uh, 11, I think I did it. There we go. Okay! <laughs> Wait, win ratio? How can you lose this? Just by giving up or something? I didn't beat the first place time. Oh man, it gives me stuff. Potion, antidote, and 100 gil. Broke the second best record. Won 5,000 gil. What? Are you serious? Okay, this was worth doing. <laughs> so if I get the top time, maybe I'll get an even bigger reward. Dude. <laughs> Why is that a thing? <laughs> Alright, well that was cool. <laughs> All right, I beat your guess, so I can feel good about that. Castle Cornelia, that's where I'm going. Ships can only dock at docks, right? I can't just, like, get out here. Yeah, I need a dock. Okay, so I can't just go anywhere I want in the world. Okay, well, I got myself some spending money. That's nice. These aren't really, uh, worth my time, but I don't know if it's worth my time to flee either. It's fine. <laughs> oh man. I'm glad I have all you people here to keep me entertained. <laughs> yeah, first Final Fantasy spin off complete. There we go. <laughs> I beat a game. Alright, so I want all the magic here, and I have all the money. Uh, Dancer, tell me stuff. Haven't you gone to the Western Keep? I hear that the crown, now in the Marsh Cave, can rebuild the ruined castle. You call that the Western Keep? I thought it was called the Castle of the Elves. Okay. Um, Alright, the Western Keep. Western Keep. I know the place you're talking about, but I know of it under a different name. Um, Alright, so magic and potions and then in. Yeah, it was less. It was like 200 or something. I do remember it gave me money, but it was, um... It wasn't as much. Wait a second! I have only three slots! I can't get every spell! Oh! Alright, so obviously Blink is the one I don't need to... Ah! 80 evasion. That is good for you. So if I wanted my white mage to survive... Dia 1. That's... that's not, like, super... Gr oh, but I do kind of want it. I know I'm going to a place with lots of undead things. <clears throat> but how much is the white mage going to be attacking, and how long will it be before I can get Dia 2? Oh, boy. I need to make a choice. 8 defense. How much is that? How much is 8 defense worth? Like, the chain mail does 15 on its own. Eight defense is some. Oh, man. Any thoughts? <laughs> uh, blink. Shield one, Dia one. Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, hang on. Okay, so the knight... So White Mage and White Wizard can get this, but the Knight, which is what uh, Jeff is going to turn into someday, 
is actually able to cast the spell. So I'll have somebody who can cast the shield spell. All right, cool. So we're gonna go with Blink and Dia One because only the White Mage and White Wizard can get that. And I think once I've gotten those... Oh, hold on. Yeah, no, it's just buy and exit. I can't, I can't unequip magic once I get it. So there's limited... Um... Okay, cool. Thanks for coming. I'll see you later. Uh, yeah, okay. So three spells per level. And yeah, I'm not going to be able to get rid of those. I just... Once I commit to them, I'm committed. Okay, good to know. So when I become a knight, I'll get white magic. Cool. Do I want any of this? Uh, I'm going to a fiery place eventually, but I'd want ice there, right? This might be good for like aquatic monsters, maybe? I mean, I have so much. I'm not gonna get a ninja, right? Because that's what the thief turns into? Yeah, the monk turns into master who can't cast any magic. Uh, yeah, spoilers. At some point, uh, my party's gonna rank up and be, like, a different level of their class. Uh, sleep one. So there's multiple sleeps. In fact, these are all level one spells. So all of these get better. Let's think short-term and go with bolt one, just in case I run into something that fire is ineffective for. And sleep just sounds like a good idea. Take somebody out of combat entirely instead of just making them slightly easier to hit. Okay. Right. 10,000 for beating first place. A golden needle, potion, and antidote. Whoa, for under one minute. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, cool. I don't think I'm going to try and speedrun that. <laughs> um, beating it in one minute would take either some luck or more skill than I have, I think. All right. So now that I've done that, let me... Um, it is often recommended to keep 99 potions with you in this game. That does seem like a good idea. How much would that cost? More than I have. I want to save this money for equipment. I'll just stock up on, like, this many. How is, um... <laughs> Maybe they should make a sequel. No, they can't make a sequel. This is called Final Fantasy. It's the last and only one. <laughs> there are no more in the series. <laughs> See, it's right in the name. I have no sleeping bags. I should buy some. Or maybe some tents. I'll buy sleeping bags. These are for saving. Tents are for actual healing. I'll buy four. Oh, two minutes. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, that might be worth doing. I don't think I'll do it today. Maybe another day. How long have I been going? One hour, 32. Okay, cool. Um, I'm not done yet. Wait, 30? I thought it was 40 here. Do the price go down, or am I misremembering? I need to refill my drink, so I'll be right back. Okay, so, save game. Okay. Cool. Now, uh, so Dancer told me to go to, what did she call it again? The Western Keep? I was pretty sure that was called the Castle of the Elves, but maybe that's a different place. Maybe I'm not remembering. Tell me that one more time. Hey. Yeah, Western Keep. I hear the crown. Now in the Marsh Cave can rebuild the ruined castle. Like, I know where the Marsh Cave is. You're clearly talking about the place that's just to the south of here. And, you know, that's that's where I go next in the game. Like, I, I remember how that goes. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's not going to show me. R1 plus directional buttons scrolls larger map. Wait, I, there's a larger map? Hold on. What, what are you telling me? R1 directional... Oh, here we go. Uh, select a location. Uh, well, I can move the cursor, but why? What's What's the point? Can I, uh, can I point it? I don't know. Just water. Um, wait, there's a dock here somewhere. Where is it? Uh, does this show me? 
Water is the best drink. Um, so Provoca's over there. Hold on. Okay, so I guess I guess I can do this to move the cursor out of the way. Where's the dock for you? Is it like here? There it is. Cool. Sounds like a good plan. All right. Thanks for coming. Yeah, this is where I'm going. So this particular spot, right, with the ogres. Ogre territory here. This is a spot where I remember spending a lot of time grinding out levels. I'm going to hope I don't have to do as much this time. Because the marsh cave is pretty tough. It's a long journey to get there. Kind of risky territory. And a long journey to get back. So if I decide, like, my health is low and I want to go sleep at an inn, it's not very easy to do. So the Marsh Cave is like the first proper dungeon in the game. Oh man, ogres are not a pushover, I see. Why is its skin purple? It just looks weird. Alright, so let me try something. If I equip you with this... Oops. Yeah, it does better. So, like, bare hand is only for low defense enemies or something? I don't know. Maybe with my uh, weirdly earned money from the um, from the sliding puzzle game, Elfheim, yeah, uh, I can just skip um, skip some grinding and buy better equipment. Please help our prince. Okay, how much does your inn cost? I always need to know that. A hundred. Okay. Um, so I could make the trip up to Cornelia, which is not very long. If I wanted to save seventy gil, it's probably worth it to just sleep here instead at the higher price. Hmm. 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 Ooh. I could afford that. Couldn't buy much else, but I could afford that. That's kind of tempting. I'm going to consider spending all my money on a mithril sword, make my fighter super great. Uh, yes. <laughs> 100 HP. Okay, cool. Alright. Um, tell me what else I can buy here. Magic that I'm probably not going to use right away because it'll be level 3? Yeah, level 3. I don't even have any points in level 3, do I? No, not yet. So nobody can use level 3 magic currently. Fire 2, that's nice. Bind, so paralyze... How does that differ from sleep, I wonder? Lightning damage, lower foes evasion by 10 points. Okay. So no need for magic yet. I can come back for that later. Rip. Rip. May Link rest in peace. Why is Link in this game? Like, Legend of Zelda Link? <laughs> what? <laughs> because I'm in Elfheim? Really? What a weird reference to put here, but okay. All right, again, these are all level three. Oh, party heal spell, neat. All level three spells don't need them yet. Uh, let's see, how far can I go without exiting town this far? No one knows where Astos, the king of dark elves has gone. Okay. Wait, there's another magic shop? Oh, level four. Oh, man. <laughs> Nulls. <laughs> no, that says null ice. It's a lowercase l next to an uppercase i, I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's a good question. I don't think it tells me. I'm, I guess I'm just assuming because it's expensive and... Uh, yeah, because it's expensive, it'll be good. But it doesn't tell me how much more attack it is, I think. Our prince is supposed to be chosen to become the Elf King, but now this. Now what? 
I am a prophet. The vision will come to me eventually. <laughs> I shall wait in meditation until then. <laughs> hey, I'm a prophet too. I just haven't had my vision yet. <laughs> Ooh, haste. That sounds good. I'm gonna want that. Definitely want haste, but it's not time yet. Erdrick. Dragon Quest. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So it was changed to Link for this for some reason. <laughs> Armor and weapons made with mithril silver are strong and powerful. Strong and powerful. Neat. <laughs> All right. So he tells me it's good. It's expensive. Cottage. I can get a hold... Okay, so I guess holding a ship in my hand is not too dramatic if I can hold an entire house in my hand, too. Well, I guess a cottage isn't a house. Oh, I think there is a house item later. <laughs> Maybe not. Or this was called a house in the uh, original. Golden Needle. I don't think I'm fighting any enemies that inflict me with stone yet. I don't think so, at least. Marsh Cave is probably where poison's going to start showing up. Ah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> So, armors. Tell me about this. Steel plate. Is that cheaper than it was in Provoca? I think it might be. Uh, iron shield. The shield was actually pretty good. I'm gonna buy a better one. Oh, hey, it does tell me! Defense 4! Okay, good. I can inspect them. So, 24. Let me cap. Helmets. Pretty sure... Okay, so let's just not buy a Mithril Sword yet. I'm going to invest in, like, more minor equipment, and that's probably just a, a better idea. So four defense for a thousand. That doesn't seem like a great investment. Twenty-four defense for eight hundred seems like a much better one. Let's do it. Huh. Interesting. So, wait, in the American version it was changed to a Dragon Quest reference, but in Japanese it was always Link? Weird. That's very strange. Helmets! Steel plate! Oh hey, I can sell my old equipment, can't I? And iron shield. Okay, so you got a lot of upgrades. There's nothing else anybody can equip here. Um, weird that the elf town would be the one that gives me like the heavy armors and stuff. Alright, get some money back. Cool. Not much, but some. See, the thing is, like, getting defense for magic types is kind of hard. This might actually be worth it. I'll consider it. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, warrior face, what's his name? Jeff should be not invincible, but, um, taking very little damage. I feel like that was already the case. Like, things were hitting him for one, mostly. Okay, um, I want you to fight unarmed, but that's not always great. I don't think I'm going to invest in this. So that's attack 14. This is 7. This is 14. 13? Oh. So why would I buy this for more money and less damage? Okay. Okay. Can't afford, you don't have enough gill. Alright, um... I'm gonna buy one of these. Oh, hold on, 14. What is your current weapon? Rapier does... 9. Okay, 14 is... Wait a second. What does ACC stand for? Accuracy. Okay, um... So it doesn't tell me the accuracy of the... Crosshair. Does that mean it just doesn't... Increase it at all? Uh, I figure there must be a reason this costs more. I don't know what it is, though. Let's try one of these. Tent, cabin, house. Yeah, that sounds right. So now it's sleeping bag, tent, cottage. <laughs> okay, that, that sounds right. <coughs> Yeah, so accuracy goes down. That's unfortunate, but I think the five attack is probably worth it. However, I can give this to you and barely do anything. Yeah, alright. 
So hang on, does your accuracy change with this? No. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so how much money do I have? <coughs> Enough for two copper arm armlets. Let's get it. Because my mages are dying awfully quickly. Any defense that I can get them is kind of worth it. Uh, I should have checked the castle. I wonder if you could, like, find those in a chest or something. Oh well, too late. Uh. Uh. Oh. It goes on your chest? Oh. Well, okay. I mean, that's that's fine, I guess. I figured it would be a, a hand item. <laughs> Armlet. Like it goes in your arm, right? Huh. Alright. Who knows? <laughs> Alright. Um, do I need to sleep in the inn currently? Yeah. Um... Uh, I could. Okay, so what am I doing? I want to make a journey to the Marsh Cave, see how far I get. So yes, I do certainly want to save the game, and this is the cheapest way to do it. Unless I went to Cornelia, but let's, let's not. This sounds fine. I like your interpretation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't wear both at the same time. If there's something on your arm, you gotta take your shirt off. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna try and get- oh, right, castle. Gonna try and get the marsh cave done and then probably call it a day. I don't know if I'll get that far because the marsh cave is kinda serious. Okay, here we go. Astos cast a curse on our prince five years ago, causing him to fall into deep slumber. What can lift this curse? I don't think my current quest is going to help with that. Astos is later? I'm not sure, though. I know I've heard of a witch who can concoct any potions. Matoya was her name. Okay, I've met her. So, she's a potion brewer. Getting her crystal eye will help me with... Some potion-related problem, maybe? Cave on the western edge of the Aldean Sea where dwarves dwell. Oh yeah, okay. A uh, great bunch they are. I'll be going there eventually. Western Aldean Sea. Astos stormed in one day, cast a curse on her prince, and emptied all the castle's treasure vaults. How rude! Why would he do that? Astos' curse, curse has plunged our prince into deep sleep. Nothing seems to wake him from it. And you say the same thing. Okay, is there more to see in this cat? Whoa. <laughs> right. Um, is there stuff over here? Door is locked with the Mystic Key. Okay, so Mystic Key opens places in Chaos Temple, Cornelia, and um, Elven Castle. This room is locked with the Mystic Key! Thanks, the door told me that too. <laughs> Alright. I've saved. I'm going to make an attempt to get to the Marsh Cave. Um, can I... I can do that any time. Okay, so it's not just on the ship. Um, how, how do I do this? Alright. Marsh Cave is there. I'm here. I have to go around like this, kind of. Oh, yeah, and Astos is up in that castle. I remember. That's not my destination. Alright, just gonna go straight there and see what happens. Aha, poison. So poison is definitely a thing. Does it last beyond combat, I wonder? If it does, then antidotes are going to become extremely important.
Oh man, two poisons. <laughs> it changes their name. <laughs> so Poison, Poison Jack, and Ellen are making a trip to the Marsh Cave. Yes, Poison lasts. Ah, oh, really? This is one of those. I'm gonna need more antidotes. Or just like run away from poisony enemies or something? Hmm. Uh, can't go this way. Okay. How are warg wolves these days? Are they still scary? I'm not doing that much more damage. I've only leveled up a little bit. I don't have a specific level target in mind for going to the Marsh Cave. Like I said, I'm just kind of going to go there and see what happens. Alright, that was a bit of a waste, but it's fine. Did I forget... Did I buy a new weapon for my Black Mage and forget to equip it? I can check right now. I didn't. Okay. Did I buy a new one for you? No. Okay. If they're going to be attacking on most turns, then I, they should have good weapons. It's just that, like, magic runs out so quick. Like, I can use it in one or two battles, and it's, and it's gone. So those two party members are not the most useful things at the moment. Alright, I'm just going to press forward. Stay out of the forest as much as I can. Which is not that much. Yeah, exactly. Running is, running is pretty non-optimal. Um, I agree with that. Um, whoa. Alright, so that was some good damage. I wonder if I should have just made a party of four warriors. <laughs> it'd be expensive, but it'd be more effective, I think. But then I wouldn't get to engage with the magic system. And that'd be a shame. And they couldn't really heal themselves until they become knights, and even then they couldn't heal super well. Uh, show me where I'm going. I can't see. R1 directional button scrolls larger map. Is it sounds like it's it sounds like it's implying there's a way to make the the map larger, but None of my buttons are doing anything, so I guess... I guess I can't zoom in. Ogre. Yeah, I just don't do much damage to an ogre. There, big and beefy. So, health is lowered a bit. Marsh Cave is... there. Okay. It's a hole in the ground. I guess that's what a cave is. <laughs> uh, let's use potions? Yeah, let's use... I could use a sleeping bag. Let's use a sleeping bag. The cursor on the side on, is on that. Switch... Oh, switch maps! Okay, I, I didn't see that somehow. Let's take a look at that. Switch maps. Okay, that's how it is. Got it. So R1, gotcha. All right, and it loops around. Nice. Okay, so I can see pretty much exactly where I'm going. So big map, little map. Nice. Okay, cool. All right, so I saved, I'm semi-healed. I could use another potion on John, let's do it. Uh, that's good enough, okay.
Marsh Cave. Hey, bats. Key. Skeletons aren't so bad. I've fought you before. Yeah. Hey, level ups are happening. Nice. Just in time. So my recollection is that south is the way forward, so I'm hoping north leads to treasure. Key! Cave is full of bats. They're friendly. Oh no, you've blinded me. Oh. My accuracy is going to go down a lot now. That's unfortunate. Alright, cool. See ya, Ed. Thanks for coming. Yeah, and I don't have any um, any blind curing tools. So you're just going to be blinded for forever? Or is it only poison that lasts past combat? I'm going to hope it is. But that does mean that my most effective fighter is essentially not able to do much. Oh no, he's still good. I'm going to move my table, pardon any noises it makes. Okay, there we go. Uh, are you still blinded? No! Okay, so that's a single combat only effect. Good. thing about this um, this random encounter system is that I really have to focus and remember exactly where I was going so that I don't waste time or double back or something um, because I keep getting interrupted and taken to a completely different place all right so is that level four for everybody level five for everybody even better so level three magic is now available I get one point in it good Marsh Cave B2. Okay, I think this is still the treasure route. I'm not sure, though. I'm going to go slowly and try not to waste steps. Okay, so going around there was not a waste because I learned I gained information. Dagger. Oh, hey, cool. I don't have to buy one. Good. Whoa, accuracy. Oh, cool. Okay, highly accurate. See, it doesn't tell me about that in the shop. It only tells me it's attack power. Let's try over here. Okay. Okay. Six hundred eighty gil. Nice. Tarantula's probably going to poison. That's my guess. So I should be focusing on it instead of... Wait a second. Green slime. Yeah, tarantula poisons. Uh, oh. You're, uh... F oh, you're one of those. I think this is one of those enemies that requires magic to deal with. Let's see if magic is effective. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so that's... Really? Those are in this game? Hmm. Okay, so I have a problem here. A poisony problem. I have just enough antidotes to cure everybody who's currently poisoned, so I'm hoping nobody else gets it. Uh, character class change doesn't happen at a specific level. It's sort of a story event, um, like halfway through or so. It's a while yet. 
I think it does actually have a level requirement though. I have to be like level 20 or something. I might be making that up though. I'm not really sure. We'll see when it happens, I guess. So, um, I guess I'm gonna use my last two antidotes. So I'm learning what I should have bought. And potions. I guess dying isn't like a super huge deal, but it does kind of mean I'm gonna have to turn back immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, so I went into that building. Again, keep track of what you're doing so the battles don't distract you too much. Yeah, this is the treasure chamber. So here's my... Oh, dear. I don't think I can fight this. Oh, no, and you poison too. Okay, well... Oh, this is terrible. So I can't kill these. Unless I use magic. I don't have enough magic left to kill all of them. I have to run. Three people are poisoned. That's three more antidotes than I have. Man. 255 defense. How much health do they have if you happen to have the page still up? Can one of these chests have like five antidotes? Ooh, broadsword. Oh, cool. Okay. That's an upgrade. And that's an upgrade for you if, I, if you're using a weapon. Cool. So I'm poisoned. I'm in real bad shape. I need to run away from... Uh, I don't know what a crawler is like. Let's try it, I guess? The skeletons aren't too bad. You know, actually, I'm going to take a different strategy here. Kill skeletons immediately. Then deal with the crawlers separately. Hey, you're hitting twice now. So broadsword is a two-hit weapon. Or it can be, at least. You hit twice, too. And now you're paralyzed! No! At least I think that's what that icon is. Yeah, you're not acting anymore. Oh, boy. Uh. Um. I don't know how tough these are. I'm gonna... Oh! Sleep is on everybody! Nice! Let's do it. Cool, okay, I'm gonna check that after this. Twenty-four, okay, so that's a lot of one damage hits. Alright, you went to sleep. Neat. That's cool. Oh no, you're paralyzed too. Um I, I need to take this seriously then. Uh fire or lightning. And um Ah, uh, you're not undead. Ow, three hits. Does paralysis ever go away? You're not asleep anymore. <sighs> Should I just run? Yes, absolutely. Run away! There we go. Alright, so tell me about this speciary. Collections? Oh, cool. 14%. Okay, so everybody I've encountered, I guess? So I guess that number on the right is the number that I've killed, probably? Neat! Oh, that's cool. Okay, this is... I should definitely look at this for every new enemy I encounter. Fire Dia. Resist Ice, Death, Confusion, Paralysis. So it doesn't tell me everything. It doesn't tell me, like, that, that spiders are poisony. Or maybe Black Widows are not, just the other spiders I was fighting are. Zombie, Ghoul, Garland. 106. <laughs> uh, Cobra, Ogre. So Ogre has only 10 defense? It felt like more. Oh yeah, the Lizard had a lot of defense too, that's fair. Okay. Pirate, 6 HP! <laughs> oh, those poor pirates. There's no match for the Warriors of Light. Yeah, says so nothing about the Tarantula poisoning. That's fine. 255 defense. Magic defense, 36. Weak against ice and fire. So don't use lightning on it. Okay. 
but they only attack for one. Okay, so they're just like a really annoying enemy if I don't have magic. They'll never... They're not too big a threat, just an annoyance. Good to know. Yeah, this is definitely a great feature. Okay, that's super cool. Uh, hold on, let's check those others. Item collection. Oh! Oh! That's not at all what I thought it was going to be. Oh man, okay, so... Wow! Wow, okay. So I think that's after I bring her the crystal eye, I'll get something. Wow! That's super cool! So all the loot in the world. All right, let's look at the art gallery. Whoa, that changed resolution to do that. Uh, wait, what? This is, uh, this is real janky. Oh dear. Um, oh boy, okay. Uh, let's not look at this. <laughs> but there's art here if you want to see it. I'm good, that's fine. And there's another feature, eventually. Alright, cool. Alright, oh, I'm poisoned. That's unfortunate. Just gonna have to deal with it. How's my health? Not great. Uh. Alright, gonna try and keep people alive with potions. Just sort of subsist until I can get out of this cave. Alright, head straight for the exit. Oh, cool. Okay, so I get new artwork for doing stuff. Gotcha. Alright, so health's gonna be worn down. Oh, no. A lot. I'm kinda dead here. So don't walk around that much with poison. Yeah, that's a problem. Uh-oh. This is pretty bad. I've made a terrible mistake. So I can at least keep three of my people alive. Okay, so let's... So if I'm going to be walking around with poison, and I don't get an option about that, let's potion them up to full. You in particular, you need to survive. You have the best survivability, so you should be at full health. I'm going to try and keep you alive. It's probably worth it. Alright, run away. Be careful. For as much as being careful as possible here. Move, bat. I need to go there. Okay. Yeah, it probably is. That happens. Um, I don't really have a good way to fix it, unfortunately, so I'll probably just end the stream in a bit. Maybe I'll get back from this... Um, I need to figure out a better way to keep things in sync. Um, yeah, so the audio probably doesn't sound too great right now. I'm gonna die in this combat. Maybe my warrior will survive. All right, um, how many potions do I want to waste on this? I'm going to just let my monk possibly die and try and keep my warrior alive for this run. So, Marsh Cave, nasty place. I got some good stuff in it. Oh, Goblin Guard. I can handle you. I shouldn't, though, because the, the longer... Oh, well, okay. He's dead. Um, I can probably also run away from you real easily. Yeah, so what you're probably hearing is that the the game audio coming through my speakers and into my microphone is going to be out of sync with the audio feed from the, um, the direct audio feed for the game. And I just, I don't have a solution for that yet. I'm going to look into it a bit more and see if I can figure something out for this. Um, but yeah, like in terms of one of those audio streams should be in sync with the, the video at least. You're just going to hear like an audio echo. So this is what happens when I'm underprepared, by the way. Um, I should really make super sure that you survive. My last potion goes to you. All right, you know what? You know what? I'm going to I'm going to do what I said I was going to do and try and get the marsh cave done, even if it's a little bit out of sync. Um <laughs> I really need to like 
book it if I want to get this game done anytime soon, because it's a long game, and there are a lot more in the series. So let's keep at it for a bit more. I'll recover from this. And get that one dungeon done. Okay, so... Um, poison will only take me down to one. It won't kill me on the overworld. So I'm not going to worry about your health right now. Revive... Ugh. Um... I can save some money by making a trip to back to Cornelia. But I don't think that makes sense, so let's not. Yeah, yeah, this is exactly... This is what the Marsh Cave is like. <laughs> Go in, limp home, and bar just barely hanging on to your life. Um, this is why I spent all that time when I was younger, in the Forest of Ogres, right around Elfheim. Grinding out experience, because you just, you need it for this. It's a nasty dungeon. Alright, let's get rid of that screen flash. Uh, does sleeping cure poison? I don't actually know that it does. Okay, and being resurrected puts me at one. Good to know. Yes, uh, I should definitely buy the Essena spell before I go anywhere. Okay, so SNS spell, uh, many antidote items. Okay, so Jeff's name is not Poison. I don't know if that happens on the save screen, though. Are you cured? No. Dang it. Um, okay. Um, all right. Um, that's annoying. So wasting health, looking around for an item shop. There it is. Antidote. Okay, same prices as anywhere. I want lots. I want lots and lots. I want lots. Twenty's probably not even enough. But I need potions too. And I'm gonna spend all my money on these two things, I guess. Hmm. Well, that's what happened. I probably overbought on antidotes, but that's that's what I did. Okay, uh, so this will have to do. I have nothing left over for um, for new magic spells. Is what what level is that? This is the level three white magic shop. See, I think antidotes just make more sense because. Um, because I have to use my valuable white magic resources here. <sighs> so it's a level 2 spell. I have to go back to Provoca for it. Okay. Um, so here's the thing. I don't feel like I can really go back to the Marsh Cave and get much further. I'm just going to run into the same issue. I don't really want to spend time around here fighting ogres and getting money and buying stuff, but I might have to. I guess I could. Um, I guess I could try the sliding puzzle again. That's actually a decent option. So let's see if I can beat that thing in two minutes. I wasn't super far off. <clears throat> if I go in with a plan and really focus, maybe I can get it. Like... A thousand gil is... Uh, Ten thousand gil is a pretty good reward. <coughs> yes, certainly. And, like, not only getting poisoned again in combat, but also using up a turn that I could be using to get the, the combat over sooner. Um, yep, that definitely makes sense. My party order is wrong, I just noticed. I need to fix it. All right, form uh, formation. Like that. All right, let's try this thing. Hold X, press circle many times. Alright, let's earn some money. Go quickly. 
All right, so I got one. Two is already in place. However, I need it to be different to get the one into place. There's a strategy to this. Um, oh no, I've done this completely wrong. All right, there's a strategy to this and I have failed at it. That's fine, let's do this a different way. Think quickly. So I want to approach this with the two ahead of the three, like this. No, no, like this. Uh, one's gonna have to move for a moment. That's fine. I, is it? No, it's not. Uh-oh. All right, I need to perform a swap here. Like if I just knew what all the moves I needed to make were, then this would be easier. But I don't have all the like shuffle moves that I would need here memorized. Okay, so let's get this. So like I, I sort of think in like chains of numbers uh, traveling around the board in a big long snake um, when I'm doing this. So I want, I want six to go first up this way. Uh, but eight can't do that. Okay, well, it's gonna have to join like this. Six, seven, eight. There we go. Six, seven, eight. Going around like that. Uh, so nine goes over there. Ten is gonna... Okay, so... Um, if I could swap eleven and ten, and then have nine come along, that'd be nice. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Uh, okay, so that's not the worst. I just need to get 13 over there. Uh, did I do it? I think so. Yay, I did it. Okay. Potion antidote, gold needle, 100 and... Oh, okay, so you get 100 each time you do it, but set a new record and you win that much. I wonder if I can keep doing that and setting new records and earning more 10,000 monies. <laughs> I'm only going to take advantage of it this one time. So, uh, Provoca. I want to buy white magic there. Where's Provoca? <coughs> uh, way up there. All right, quick little trip up there by magic, now that I'm rich from being a puzzle master, apparently. <laughs> so I'm taking advantage of something that was not quite that way in the original game. I think 100 probably was the amount of money earned back in the original. Nobody can hit. Come on now. I do need the experience and stuff. Goggler, hey, a new enemy from my bestiary. Gaze. Oh, that's paralysis. Well, that's not good. How rude. Maybe I should run. Maybe I should run. If everybody's paralyzed, do I game over? I hope not. Uh, this doesn't seem good. Is this... Okay, you targeted him. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so paralysis doesn't last forever. Good to know. All right, so this is not like a super crazy encounter. It's just a really annoying one. Okay. Here. I should probably do this. Okay, so you recovered, now you're just gonna get gazed again. Wow, this is terrible. Okay, you missed. You need to die. You need to die. You need to die. 
There, I did it. <laughs> ah! So let's not fight Gogglers, if possible. I have Lightning, that'll work well on you. Oh, they only gaze? Okay, so they don't attack, so they're just, like, annoyers. Wow! How obnoxious. <laughs> Alright, so I wasn't really in any danger there, Just it's just a time waster. Alright, that's fine. Uh, you, you can't cast magic. I'm gonna be sleeping at an inn soon, so I'm just, just using my magic, not caring about it. I do wish it wasn't such a scarce resource that you have to save for so long. And that would be an advantage to playing the PSP version of this, but I'm not. I've chosen this one. This is what I'm doing. Okay, you're out of magic. Alright, whoa! That keeps happening. Like, I... I'm definitely releasing the direction, but it keeps acting like I still have it held down. It's weird. Oh, Blix and Evil Eyes, yeah, that's... that's right. <laughs> yep. These are pretty big time wasters too, honestly. Uh, let's try this. Um, how do I remove? Wait, I can't remove an item? I can only equip another one. Okay, so I can't take an item, a weapon out of my hand during mid-combat, apparently. <laughs> That's silly. Uh, here's the plan. Oh, cool! Quick save in dungeons. Nice. Yes, uh, I know how to get to that. Is this where, where am I going? Uh, there. Okay. Good to know. All right. Buy all the magics. Very important one is... Oh, it's not here. Wait, what? It must be a level 4 spell. Oh. Uh, I might need this, actually. That could be good in some cases. That seems not super relevant. Uh, but that's... Wait, don't you have... So you have a self-evasion by 80 points, but this can be applied to anybody, I guess. I want Lamp and Silence. And... I don't know. Uh, would I use either of these? I feel like I'd use this one more. Because, like, the number of enemies who um, are going to attack me with lightning is a lot lower than the number who are going to attack me physically. So that'll um, retain its usefulness for longer, I think. Uh, ice one. Yeah, that sounds cool. Blind, got steel already. Slow is... I don't think I would use slow. But, well, would I? Hmm. I do want ice one, for sure. Which would I be more likely to use, slow or fog? I think Fog is actually probably better. Because my understanding is, like, speed in this game determines how many hits you're going to uh, perform if you do an attack successfully. Fog is just going to re reduce accuracy, which reduces the success rate of attacks just flat out. Um, okay, so that's 16. Wow. So one more point for the Battle Axe, but it costs the same as the Broadsword. That's weird. Okay, so, um, any armor I want here? I don't think... Oh, hey, I, have I talked to you? I fled here from Melmund, a town far to the west. What a horrible sight that was. The earth rotting and monsters attacking as soon as night fell. Please help us. Okay. 
Not at Melmond yet, but that will come sometime soonish. No bad deeds anymore. Really? Just look into my eyes. Okay. Um, items. Every, I, every item shop sells the same stuff, so I can just buy this anywhere. Well, I mean, some have more inventory than others, but the prices are the same for the, the items that are available. Okay, so I need nothing here. Just the magic. And I got the magic. Okay, so no reason to ever come back to Pravoka. Good to know. I'm done with this town forever. Um, I'm going to sleep in Cornelia, I think. Go back and maybe buy some stuff from elves. Uh, right, so Cornelia is... Wait, what? Oh, Cornelia's there. Got it. It was covered by the hand cursor. Gonna sleep in Cornelia because it's cheaper. Um, so this is good. This should reset my combat counter for when I go back on the ship so I'm less likely to, to encounter water creatures. Ah, uh, less accurate, of course. That makes sense. So more damage at the cost of accuracy. I wish it told me the accuracy in the shop. It tells me the attack power, but not the other stats, if any. Uh, Dancer, you have anything else to say? So you're my guide. Western Keep, I hear the crown now in the Marsh Cave can rebuild the ruined castle. Oh, I know which one the Western Keep is. That's where Astos is. That's northwest of the Elves' Castle, I think. Right. So I need to go there with the crown that I get out of the Marsh Cave to break the curse on the sleeping uh, prince in the Elves' Castle or something? It's something like that. That sounds about right. And the the Western Keep is just like a little castle like... Um, like the Temple of Chaos, uh, I think. All right, anyway, I want to get this marsh cave done. going to really try and get that to happen. Let's... Oh, hold on, hold on. Items. Items, items, items. I want more antidotes. And definitely more potions. Let's stock up on, like, 40 of these? Sure. And lots of these. Yeah, that'll do for now. I'll save some money for equipment and stuff. Spells, etc. Alright. So it's not directly south to the dock. It's a little bit west, is it? Eh. Yes. But those two are pretty close to each other. So I want to see if there's any other equipment I can buy with all the money that I have. Other than a mithril sword. Oh yeah, how much does the mithril sword do? So broadsword does... Let me check. And also, see how you're doing empty-handed. Hey. Hey. Ah! Ah! Equipment. John. Remove. Cross here. Okay. Um, equipment. Okay, so you have 12 base. Alright, so Broadsword does 15 and 10 accuracy. Cool. Did I ever equip the dagger on Jack? I did. Uh, weapon shop. Dagger, Crusader, Sword, Mithril Sword does 23. That's not enough better to spend that much money on it. Okay, good to know. And I think I'm done buying armor here, right? So other than level ups, I'm as ready for the Marsh Cave as I'm going to get, right? Steel plate, copper armlet, iron shield. Yeah, uh, hold on, you don't have a leather cap. Oh, okay. Why don't you have a leather cap? Yeah, I guess I just didn't buy one. Okay. Cool. 
you don't have much defense. Let me check the magic shops. These are level four. Nobody has level four magic slots yet. Uh, yeah, so tell me about level four white magic. Yeah, that's where that is. Cure's Poison. It's a level four spell. Wow, that's so annoying. All right. 15 accuracy, 17 critical. Okay, that's nice. Still not convinced it's worth the price. The broadsword's good enough for me. All right, let's go. Marsh Cave, for real. I'm all full of antidotes and potions. I'm gonna fight these along the way and get some experience. And I'm gonna save my magic points. Ow, that hurt. But I have potions, so I'm fine. All right, so you're not ready to not have a weapon yet. Uh, yes. Everybody likes my monk. Or doesn't like him. I'm trying to kill him. Man, that one battle wore me down this much. I'm still underleveled for this. Ugh. Just gonna deal with it, though. I'm gonna power through and get this done. Ugh. Ogre, you're the heavy hitter. Why? Oh, I... No, I can target you. It's just weird about it. Ah! I mean, the worms hit pretty hard, too, I guess. But I really want that ogre dead. There we go. Please stop missing. Good. One per turn, huh? That's fine. Like, it's not just the cave. Like, the, the journey to the cave is just... It's kind of a big deal. And there's no quicker way. This is the only way to get there. Just be careful not to take any wrong turns. This is a wrong turn. I took it again. It's, ah, that trap is there specifically so that I do this. Good. Killed the worm before it got a turn. See, I couldn't just, like, just hit the button and not think about it in the original game. I had to think, like, if this enemy dies, then the character is not going to retarget, so I have to, you'd have to, like, pick a different target. If you wanted to focus fire, it was, it was complicated. It was a silly system, and I'm glad it's gone. Yeah, defense is definitely a big deal. Problem is, my options for increasing defense are very limited. I'm wearing pretty much the best armor that's available to me now. 
It's just that a lot of... Only the warrior can really wear the good stuff. Again, I should have just made a party of four warriors. <laughs> I'd probably have a much easier time with that. But the point of this is not to make it easy. This is fine. I'm okay with this. But yeah, there is definitely a pretty severe difficulty spike right here. Uh, the journey to the marsh cave and the cave itself. I think after this, things ease up a little bit. I mean, they don't ease up, but like, there aren't... I don't remember any other spikes this severe. It's just this weird early game kind of sort of balance issue. I haven't died yet fully, so that's that's a thing. I'm playing well enough not to have actually been annihilated. Nice. When next level up? Tell me. Soon. Very soon. Good. Alright, sleeping bag. I have only three, but that's fine. That's as many... that's... That's enough. I don't need more than that. So I should come out of here level 6, everybody, if this goes well. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, mages do get uh, a lot better. Um, the problem is, like, the, the magic points never really become a plentiful resource. I see that there's room for two digits there. Maybe it's rebalanced in this game compared to the original. Uh, I don't know. Green slime. Okay, so these are annoying. They don't hit hard, they just take a really long time. I'm going to just not bother fighting these. It's just not worth the resources it takes. Ice cave. I don't remember that one. Let's see, when would that be? I remember, like, the first bit of this game reasonably well, then after, like, Melmond or so, it gets real hazy. Okay, yeah, this is the way forward. Okay, so I'm scouting the area. So there might be something up there to see. Empty room. Okay, so empty stuff there. Go away, bat. Uh, it's this room. Okay, I recognize the terrain down there. Okay, so that's a way through. I think I can... Do I have more screen space than I did in the NES? I might. I want to see if there's stuff over here. But it means I have to fight. Bats get in my way slightly. I think... I think they're just mostly there for flavor. That's my impression, at least. Nice. See, that's exactly the one I didn't want you to hit, because if you'd hit a skeleton, they probably would have died. The crawler's still up, though. Um, let's focus you on it. Yeah, just, just do that. Just do that. Paralysis is fine, just don't poison me. I mean, I'd rather you didn't paralyze me, <laughs> but it's not the worst thing. Alright, I think I'm wasting time here. That's the ladder up. There's nothing to the north. Just minimizing my steps. That's why I'm behaving as I am. I'm going to see all the terrain without fighting too many things. All right, so this square-looking formation is probably a room, yes. It might have loot in it. Ah! Don't do that. Okay, so that's... That's the first bug that I'm noticing with this version of the game. I assume it's a bug and not just, like, my controller playing up. It just, like, when I tap the direction once, it, it keeps moving. Okay, you're formidable opponents, as it turns out. Uh, I should probably do this. I should probably not have done that, now that I think about it. It's fine, though. Because that's just, that's a resource that I can use in battle that I don't get back. But, like, potions are more effective anyway, aren't they? And they... I can use them just as well as the cure spell, so... You know what? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Ow!
Yep, paralysis disappears as soon as the enemies are gone. <laughs> I'm just paralyzed in fear of the scary monsters in front of me, I guess. Once the scary monsters are gone, the paralysis goes away. Did I buy the Dia spell? I did. Um, there's an undead boss somewhere in here. I think he's deeper in than I'm going now, though. Like, there's a vampire all the way at the bottom of this place. Wait. Why is that chest open? Uh, the treasure chest is empty. Well, dang it. I haven't been here before. So somebody else took it. How annoying. Okay, so I need to go around this way. Through here and through... Can I go this way? Yes. Ah, no thanks. Not worth it. I've killed one of you and that's, that's enough. Ah, empty treasure chest. I guess that's just more time wasters. Gargoyle, you're new. Okay, let's fight. So you do that much damage. If you keep attacking my warrior, that's not too bad. Ow! Ooh, that's a problem. If you don't attack my warrior, then you're actually kind of scary. Okay, so you're the one who's doing the least amount of damage. So why don't you be the healer? Well, that's not good. Dang it! Hmm. Oh, and you still use the potion. Ah! <laughs> uh, okay, so I shouldn't be fighting gargoyles, probably. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, yeah, now I remember. Yep. Well, shoot. Now what? I'd rather not make the run all the way back, but I don't think I have much of a choice unless I want my monk to miss out on lots of experience and stuff. How deep is this cave? Maybe I can just do without him. You know what? I'm gonna try, I think. I could reload my save. You know what? I think that's a good idea. That's my choice. Reload save. I think that's, that's just like the most time-efficient way to do this. All right, so first time I had to actually reload. Slot one, I want this. This is fine. Don't worry about it. Take gargoyles seriously. Okay. Uh, I went south, what if I go this way? Is there treasure? There are werewolves. Yeah, this is unfortunate, but this is, again, this is just the most time-efficient way to do it. They heal! Huh. So werewolves poison for some reason. Man, this miss rate. <laughs> it's one of these games. Alright, so I think this is maybe the last time I'll bother fighting werewolves, but I'll get them into my bestiary. If I encounter gargoyles, I might consider fighting, but ugh, I, I'm... That didn't go well too well for me. Might be better just to run. Okay, cure poison. Heal stuff. I bought these antidotes for a reason. Yes, use. This dungeon wouldn't be so bad if I could just get through it the first try, but like having to actually reload for stuff like that. There's nothing here! <laughs> ah. Well, now I know. <sighs> having to reload is really unfortunate. But I didn't have any other good choices, really. Okay, so all empty chests. 
Yeah, there were no treasure... Ch there was like some money in a chest up in the northeast, I think. Alright, really gonna minimize my steps here. Gonna keep pushing this bat until it goes a different direction. Go to the left. Go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. I'm still pushing you. There we go. Okay, empty chest. Let's go this way. This room should have... Okay, so way over. Stairs. So is this the grid of... Yeah, okay, I know what this is. I remember this room. Already wearing. Okay, well, I can sell that. Yeah, this whole room is a grid of, like, little chambers. Move, Bat. I want to step there. I'm not going to go around you. Great ooze. Let me guess. Maximum defense? No! Okay, so it's only the green slime that has to be magic to death. Okay. Great ooze can just be weaponed. Nothing? Nothing? Chest. I think that was a scripted encounter. No? No, I don't. Two gargoyles isn't that special. And there were two different ways I could have gotten to that chest. Okay, so... Ugh, gargoyles. Um... Uh... Let's do this. Keep you alive. I really want you not to die. Dang it! Alright, I'm gonna do without my black mage. Not reloading for just his sake. There we go. Good. Okay. Fine. I'll just accept that loss. It's annoying, but I'm just gonna have to deal with it. He wasn't contributing that much anyway. Hang on, is there stuff up there? No, there's nothing. Okay, so this room is full of loot. Then there's... Okay, um... Let me on skeleton crawler. I can probably deal with this. I'll save it. Oh man, who paralyzed me? I wasn't watching closely enough. I should run. Fighting these just seems like a bad idea. Alright, top off health. Make sure people don't die. One already has. Ugh. This place is rough. A chest? I don't want to fight you. Man, I don't have to. Cottage! Oh man, that chest contained an entire cottage. Werewolves I could handle, but they poison me. You know what? You know what? <laughs> this is my strategy now. <laughs> I'm minimizing the amount of experience that people who are not my black mage are going to get compared to him. Alright, this is slightly quicker, I think. Gargoyle, run away. This is fine. Okay, that's annoying, but if you keep attacking my warrior, this is fine. Ow. Okay. Now, this is a bad investment for the future. I can't just keep doing this. But I think just for this room, for the nasty enemies, I can get away with it. Move, bat. Move, bat. Move, bat. Move, bat. Move, bat. Move, bat. Get out of my way. 
Okay, here's the special one. All right, there's a scripted encounter directly in front of that chest. I'm gonna fully top off with potions. Like, just an unavoidable battle happens there. Crawler was the one, okay, thank you. All right, this is my destination. This, I think, contains the crown? Pisco Demon, oh. Okay, there are Mind Flayers, all right. So here's the time to use the good stuff. Uh, those are not undead, are they? Hmm, silence. Ooh, and everybody, yes. I guess I don't know, ow! Don't know for sure that they cast magic, but if they do, then this will stop them. Well, or not. Yeah, you're gonna die. Oh, I can't even do this encounter. Oh. So am I learning that I'm just too underleveled to even approach this? Maybe Jeff can solo it. No, he can't. No, I'm not... I'm... I just... I can't do this encounter. Yeah, no. This is just... There's, there's no way I can possibly manage this. Is it possible to run? It doesn't say that it's not. Wow! Okay. Well... Having my Black Mage alive wouldn't have helped an enormous amount. Okay, um, let's make that the super unsatisfying end to the stream. <laughs> Everybody's dead in the Marsh Cave. And apparently I'm not leveled up enough to handle it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, yeah, see it's not cowardice, that doesn't even make sense. It's just like... There's no... if I can't win the encounter, then it doesn't make any sense to fight. Okay, well... <laughs> Alright, that's annoying, but that's that's what happens sometimes. Alright, so, Pisco Demons. Super nasty. That is my destination in this dungeon. Like, I have to win that battle. I'm just gonna have to level up and figure out how to handle it. Alright, well, that's what happens. Um, that's fine. Yes, it replays this. Whatever. We don't need to see that. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, it would have been better to reload anyway. Now, if I know exactly where that thing is, which I don't, I can check my footage and figure, like, how many over, how many down it is, and minimize the encounters on the way there. But I think I just need to level up before I come there. Yep, this might be the point in the game where I'm forced to grind. Okay, well, uh, yes, everyone died. The end. That's what happened. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right, cool. Well, um, this went pretty well, I think. Uh, I'll check the footage and make sure everything's good with it. I'm sure the audio is out of sync. I, I need to find a solution to that. I don't know one currently, but I'll, I'll keep messing with it and see if I can learn what to do with it. But yeah, thanks for coming. Uh, feeling good about this. And yeah, I'll see you next Saturday to continue from here.